My dear students, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will be sharing and explaining 50 important Viva questions with answers for cyber security one by one to help you prepare for your practical exam. Let's begin with the first important Viva question. Unit I Introduction to Cyber Security, Cyber Security Vulnerabilities, and Cyber Security Safeguards. 1. What is cyber security? Answer Cyber security refers to protecting systems, networks, and data from cyber attacks, unauthorized access, or damage. It ensures the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data. Next question. 2. What are the challenges in Internet governance? Answer. Internet governance challenges include ensuring privacy, managing digital threats, regulating content, and maintaining fair access to information across borders. Next question. 3. What are cyber threats? Answer. Cyber threats include cyber warfare, cyber crime, cyber terrorism, and cyber espionage. They refer to any attack or illegal activity targeting digital systems or data. Next question. 4. What is cyber warfare? Answer. Cyber warfare involves the use of digital attacks by one nation to disrupt or damage the critical infrastructure of another nation. Next question. 5. What is cyber crime? Answer. Cyber crime is criminal activity that involves computers or networks, such as hacking, identity theft, and online fraud. Next question. 6. What is cyber terrorism? Answer. Cyber terrorism refers to the use of digital attacks to cause fear or harm, typically for political or ideological purposes. Next question. 7. What is cyber espionage? Answer. Cyber espionage involves the use of hacking to steal sensitive government or corporate information for intelligence purposes. Next question. 8. Why do we need a comprehensive cyber security policy? Answer. A comprehensive policy helps define rules, regulations, and measures to protect data, manage risks, and prevent cyber attacks. Next question. 9. What is the need for a nodal authority in cyber security? Answer. A nodal authority oversees and coordinates the nation's cyber security efforts, ensuring all sectors are protected and responding to cyber incidents. Next question. 10. What is the need for an international convention on cyberspace? Answer. An international convention would establish global standards and regulations for cyber security, preventing cross-border cyber threats and ensuring cooperation. Next question. 11. What are cyber security vulnerabilities? Answer. Vulnerabilities are weaknesses in systems or networks that can be exploited by attackers, like weak passwords, software bugs, or poor network design. Next question. 12. What are common software vulnerabilities? Answer. Software vulnerabilities include bugs, coding errors, or flaws in programs that hackers can exploit to gain unauthorized access. Next question. 13. What are weak authentication methods? Answer. Weak authentication methods like using simple passwords or not verifying users properly, make systems vulnerable to unauthorized access. Next question. 14. What is poor cyber security awareness? Answer. Poor awareness refers to a lack of knowledge about security risks, leading to unsafe practices like using weak passwords or clicking on phishing links. Next question. 15. What are cyber security safeguards? Answer. Safeguards are protective measures like firewalls, encryption, authentication, and intrusion detection systems used to secure systems and data. Next question. 16. What is access control in cyber security? Answer. Access control limits, 
who can access specific resources on a network or system, ensuring only authorized users can view or modify data. Next question. 17. What is authentication? Answer. Authentication verifies the identity of a user or device. For example, entering a password or using biometric identification like fingerprints. Next question. 18. What is biometrics in cybersecurity? Answer. Biometrics uses unique physical traits, like fingerprints or retina scans, for secure identification and authentication. Next question. 19. What is cryptography? Answer. Cryptography is the practice of protecting information through encryption, ensuring that data remains confidential and secure from unauthorized access. Next question. 20. What are firewalls? Answer. Firewalls are security systems that monitor and control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predefined security rules. Next question. Unit 2. Securing Web Applications, Services and Servers 21. What is the basic security for HTTP applications? Answer. Basic security for HTTP includes using HTTPS for secure communication, validating user inputs to avoid attacks, and using firewalls to filter traffic. Next question. 22. What are SOAP services? Answer. SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol, is a protocol for exchanging structured information in web services using XML. Security involves using encryption and authentication. Next question. 23. What is identity management in web services? Answer. Identity management ensures the right individuals have the right access to web services by verifying users' identities and managing their permissions. Next question. 24. What are authorization patterns? Answer. Authorization patterns are methods for granting or denying access to web resources based on user roles or permissions. Next question. 25. What are the security challenges for web services? Answer. Challenges include securing data transmission, protecting against injection attacks, managing access control, and ensuring authentication. Next question. Unit 3. Intrusion Detection and Prevention 26. What is intrusion detection? Answer. Intrusion detection involves identifying unauthorized or malicious activity within a network or system. Next question. 27. What are physical theft and abuse of privileges? Answer. Physical theft refers to stealing hardware, while abuse of privileges occurs when an authorized user exceeds their permissions to perform malicious actions. Next question. 28. What are malware infections? Answer. Malware infections involve malicious software, like viruses, worms, or trojans, that damage or steal data from a system. Next question. 29. What are network-based intrusion detection systems, NIDS? Answer. NIDS monitor network traffic to identify potential security breaches, such as unusual data flow or suspicious connections. Next question. 30. What are network-based intrusion prevention systems, NIPS? Answer. NIPS actively block malicious activities on the network by analyzing incoming traffic and taking immediate action to prevent attacks. Next question. 31. What is host-based intrusion prevention? Answer. Host-based intrusion prevention, HIPS, protects individual computers by detecting and preventing attacks on the system's hardware or software. Next question. 32. What is security information management? Answer. Security information management, SIN, collects, analyzes, and stores data from various security devices to help detect and manage threats. Next question. 33. What is Network Session Analysis? 
Answer. Network session analysis involves examining the communication sessions between devices to identify suspicious or unauthorized activities. Next question. Unit 4, Cryptography and Network Security. 34. What is symmetric key cryptography? Answer. Symmetric key cryptography uses the same key for both encryption and decryption of data. An example is the AES, Advanced Encryption Standard, algorithm. Next question. 35. What is asymmetric key cryptography? Answer. Asymmetric key cryptography uses a pair of keys, a public key for encryption and a private key for decryption. An example is RSA encryption. Next question. 36. What is a digital signature? Answer. A digital signature is a cryptographic mechanism that validates the authenticity and integrity of a message or document. Next question. 37. What is SSL and TLS? Answer. SSL, Secure Sockets Layer, and TLS, Transport Layer Security, are protocols that encrypt data transmitted over the Internet, ensuring secure communication between servers and clients. Next question. 38. What is IPsec? Answer. IPsec, Internet Protocol Security, is a suite of protocols that secure IP communications by authenticating and encrypting each IP packet. Next question. 39. What is the role of firewalls in network security? Answer. Firewalls filter traffic between a network and external sources preventing unauthorized access and blocking potential threats. Next question. Unit V, Cyberspace and the Law, Cyber Forensics. 40. What are cyber security regulations? Answer. Cyber security regulations are laws and policies designed to protect data, ensure privacy, and manage risks in cyberspace. Next question. 41. What are the roles of international law in cyberspace? Answer. International law helps govern cyber activities, prevent cybercrime, and promote cooperation between countries in managing cyber threats. Next question. 42. What is the National Cyber Security Policy 2013 in India? Answer. The National Cyber Security Policy 2013 outlines strategies to secure India's cyber infrastructure, promote cyber awareness, and protect critical information. Next question. 43. What is Cyber Forensics? Answer. Cyber Forensics is the process of investigating cyber crimes, gathering evidence, and analyzing digital data to solve crimes. Next question. 44. How do you handle preliminary investigations in cyber forensics? Answer. Preliminary investigations involve securing evidence, analyzing potential sources of data, and documenting the crime scene, like the compromised systems or networks. Next question. 45. What is disk-based analysis in cyber forensics? Answer. Disk-based analysis involves examining the contents of a computer's hard drive for evidence of criminal activity, such as deleted files or hidden data. Next question. 46. How do you investigate information hiding? Answer. Information hiding techniques like steganography are analyzed by looking for unusual file structures, hidden messages, or encrypted files. Next question. 47. How do you scrutinize email in cyber forensics? Answer. Scrutinizing email involves checking email headers, sender details, timestamps, and attachments to trace malicious activity. Next question. 48. What is tracing internet access? Answer. Tracing internet access involves tracking the IP addresses, browser logs, and online activities of users to identify their online actions. Next question. 49. What is tracing memory in real-time? Answer. 
Tracing memory involves examining the system's memory during an ongoing session to detect any unauthorized or suspicious activity. Next question. 50. What are cyber security standards? Answer. Cyber security standards define best practices and guidelines for securing systems, networks, and data, such as ISO IEC 27001. I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers. And syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.